Right, so this is the first blog, I suppose, on our long-term MT-10, as you can see here. Uh, first impressions of this bike have been pretty good, to be honest with you. Uh, wheelie's like an absolute tip, and it doesn't sound too bad as a standard machine, but if there's any problems I've found, it's uh, the brakes aren't particularly good. Um, and I promised myself that I was going to put some brake pads in this first because I thought that would be the best thing to do but no, what I've basically done is decided to put an exhaust on it first um, so we've come to here, which is SP Engineering, as you can see here and these, these, these guys are pretty local to us so what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick listen to the, sta uh, the standard noise uh, then we'll show you what exhaust we're putting on it uh, and then we'll show you the guys fitting the exhaust and then we'll go from there so let's just quickly have a quick sort of quick sound like see that's not too bad really um, for, a, for a standard noise but when you are going along it is quite quiet and because it's the R1 engine we know this can sound much better so uh, let's go in and see what happens selected mm -hmm. the uh, MotoGP2 in carbon fibre. Oh, look at that. So that's your uh, selection. Mm -hmm. um, we've gone with the TIG welded raw look, um, which is really quite racy and quite sort of modern styling. Mm, lovely. Um, yeah, I think uh, personally it looked pretty good on the bike. Mm -hmm. um, I think going with the sort of satin finish rather than the shiny polished really uh, goes with the modern bike. Lovely. Um, and are we doing a Y piece as well? Yep, yeah, the Y piece is uh, this section here. Wow, look at that. Which is uh, your decap pipe. Fantastic. Okay. I'm very excited about this. And, uh, it is different. A lot of people are saying uh, the R1 uh, setup fits, but it doesn't. It's actually. Um, a different design. So it is a bespoke setup for the is, for the MC. Yeah, yeah, it is. Even the wide pipe people on the forums have been saying the R1 fits, but I can guarantee you that it doesn't fit parallel with the headers mm. because it is in a slightly different position. Okay. Um, but the Acropovic version, which is out in Europe, I believe, but not in this country, doesn't have the secure bracket. Right. So we've made it so that it bolts back to the original place um, to add extra support like mm -hmm. the original would be mounted, whereas they just make a a pipe which floats if you like. Yeah, there must be a significant weight saving then, mostly um, due to the cat box. Yeah, yeah, huge weight saving. Um, the white piece of steel? That one's stainless steel. Stainless yeah. steel, yeah. yeah. Now, when it comes to the dyno, yeah. we're going to supply you with a removable baffle and some spare bolts to go in and out with the nylocks. Right. So you only get one dirt, really. <laughs> um, so we just give you some spares. Okay. Um, what I would ask you to do yeah. is to run it either way. Um, Wayne mm. over at um, Yamaha. Yeah. Phoenix. Yep. Yeah. He's a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And he phoned me up yesterday and he says make sure you give him a baffle because we're not sure how that's going to um, react right. um, at the moment. Yeah. We know that on the R1 we've been reported good power gains. Mm -hmm. But he said because you you may need some back pressure, supply it with a baffle. Yeah. So you might need to do a dyno run either way. Oh, with okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I'll take the I'll take the baffle with me then, yeah. and then chuck yeah. it in and give it. A, I'll try both. Yeah. yeah. So this is your uh, great big heavy weight. Look at that bad boy. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, uh, I'd hate the hazard of guess on that, but it's got to be a lot. Maybe four or five kilos. Oh yeah. Oh easy, I reckon. So they they tend to be really quite heavy. She is, isn't it? Does this run two Lambda sensors? Yeah, yeah, on either side. Oh, it does. Okay. Well, obviously, we're not going to need the exhaust valve. No, no, no. We're going to disconnect. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, most most exhausts tend to do that to bikes these days. All right. Yeah, it's not there. So. I might have to do it afterwards. I'll take it in afterwards. If I can't yeah, do it first, then when I get into work, yeah. I'll do it off the computer. Yeah, yeah. that should make me do it easily. This is what we eat. <laughs> right, so the Y pipe section's all good. We'll yeah. have the cables out next. Yeah. That's just going to be a nightmare. They go one of the two ways. They either break up as you try and take them out. Yeah. So Steve made a special colour tool to get them out. Oh, is that what you were using yeah. down there? Yeah. Mm. And uh, 
it really does uh, help when you're trying to do a job like that. Mm. Boys, that is awesome. Look at all that. That is absolutely. And we're done. Okay, she's on. Lovely. But now comes a big test. Actually, so you can you can do this. Thank you very much. So I'll stand back here so uh, everyone okay. can hear it. Are we ready? We are ready. 